Hey there everyone, so this is Laura and I'm just kind of screenshotting myself going through a recording um, that I made of me setting up a forum in that little forum app that we found. It was really easy. This is the first page they give you when you, um, well, first of all you go through the process of actually installing the app and allowing the permissions and all of that stuff. And then you get to the admin area where you create a forum and this is the sort of information that they have you fill out there. Um, I think the forums are also viewable um, inside this app along with all of the other forums that are in there. So they have you create a forum URL. At this point I had a question because I thought it was just to install on a page, um, which it is, it, that's confirmed, it, it isn't for groups, it's for pages. Um, but you do this and then you can actually, after you get through this whole thing, the forum is in this app, but you can also then put it onto a page. Um, so you see me going through here and building out the forum. As you can see, you can add categories. Something else that I didn't do here that it allows you um, the chance to do is you can add subcategories. So it's a total threaded forum experience so that's great um, and so what I just did to just demo a lot of this was I set up some some categories for my festival page where people like to carpool and room share and all of that kind of stuff when they come to the festival and they're always looking for a good place to kind of meet other people and and set those arrangements up and of course Facebook pages used to have discussion categories back in the day so I used to have that on there and then they change to their new setting and they don't have that anymore. Um, so I'm using this app for that reason instead. Um, one thing that it asked for, which I can, got me a little confused at this point, is it asked for my Facebook ID, which I totally remember being able to find back in the day. Um, but now that's totally replaced with your vanity URL, if you have that. I did a little check and there used to be this deal where you used to be able to find your Facebook ID for stuff like this and I couldn't remember how to do it. Um, I did a quick search and you used to be able to find it by like going into your profile and clicking on photos and copying the last couple of numbers on the URL bar that show up at that point, but that doesn't seem to work for me anymore. Um, no worries on that though because you can just simply add your vanity URL into that area that you're asking that they are asking for your ID and just add your vanity URL in there. So as you can see I kind of gave up on that idea and just finally figured out to add my vanity URL into that spot and that worked just fine to add a category. And I just created two categories um, in this demo just to kind of go through that a couple of times. Um, there's all sorts of different uses for these categories but it doesn't seem like um, there's an option to sort of lock them down like there is in a Ning site or a membership um, plugin or something on WordPress. There, they, It doesn't look like they're at that point yet. Um, although I did see an option just as I was finishing this little thing up to upgrade your forum, so I, I have yet to check in with that, I just kind of did what was in front of me. Um, but for people like Pam who've been asking you know, whether it's possible to sort of have a member secured forum, um, I don't think it is with this app from just checking it out really quickly, but um, I'll look into that a little more. These do appear to be just public forums that you can um, install on your Facebook page. And as you can see, after you've created categories, it allows you the option to then add subcategories to those um, categories, to the main categories. So after you've done that, this is what your admin area looks like. And as you can see, you can create multiple forums, but this is also by clicking back to the admin area, this is how you um, click to add a forum to a page that you have. And that's just a very simple drop down at this point to choose the page that you want to add the forum you just created to. So of course in this case I selected my festival forum. Just one more button and I believe it's on there. And as you can see you can scroll down and I haven't been very good at adding tabs into my pages yet so it's the first one that shows up um, for me. Uh, but then you actually have to like click on it and choose that forum the, the very first time you're in your page editing. Choose 
So I guess if you had like 30 forums, you could choose which forum to put into that tab and you could have multiple forums on a page. So and then this is what it looks like within my page if I click through and um, actually, you know, go through and, and see what the forum looks like. Uh, there's there's a, a way to, you know, add new threads into forums for everybody. And I just went ahead and added a thread in so that you could see what the little editing box looks like. Um, they give you just sort of the standard options that you find in, in most editing boxes. It looks a, a little bit like a WordPress or an email editing box. So I just quickly added um, a comment thread here just to see what it would look like when it showed up. And apart from the obnoxious smiley faces, um, it shows up and it's very functional. It does have some sort of ads and stuff built in, which was sort of gross looking at first, but, but they actually give you an option later on to like host your own ads. So I'm going to look into that a little further um, as well if they really start to get annoying. For now it's fine. As you can see, you can wrap code in these. Um, you can you wrap quotes, you can wrap all sorts of things. You can insert YouTube videos directly. They've got a button for that. And then this is what those comment threads, those category threads look like um, within the forum. The like button at the top looks to be a little misleading. It's actually for the, the app, not for your forum. But you can actually like individual posts, individual comment threads. So um, that's something. And then there's a little drop down underneath the forum where you can go to, it looks like a timeline for the forum and all of the likes for the forum and that kind of thing. So, you know, I'll have to explore that more as people start filling this out, what that looks like. The earn forum points thing doesn't look like anything that I'm interested in right now. It looks like um, kind of a forum point thing that's more geared towards gamer thor forums, but, you know, maybe other people will have um, more creative usage ideas for that right now than I do. And the features page, I just decided to hang out on there and scroll down it for anyone who's getting different ideas for different ways of using this app than I am. Um, none of these features are actually hot linked from this forum admin area. They're just, it's just a list of features. And, um, you know, I'm not like the most technologically experienced Facebook um, user and app setter upper. So I just thought I'd give you guys a, an eyeball of this page of features because it might make a lot more sense to to others watching this video than it does to me at the moment. And then the screenshots page is kind of the same idea. It's just showing you some of the functionality of um, this app. So there we go. And I just clicked back to the admin area. As you can see, when you're in the admin area of the um, F bulletin itself, um, you show up on your, you know, all of your forums kind of show up as a list when you've created several, it looks like. And you can edit some information about the forums that you've set up. So I just went through and explored a little bit of that to see what was possible. Um, Apparently there's a listing in the forum directory. I haven't added four or more categories yet, so um, mine doesn't look like it's listed at the moment, but that looks like it's a possibility when you do that. Um, there's a couple of other features that they have here. Um, the appearance of the forum, at first I, you know, I just wanted to see how customizable the appearance of it actually was. Um, so I changed my theme from Facebook to forest, I believe, because, you know, in Flagstaff we have a forest around us. So I was like, well, let's see what that one looks like. It, it's nothing more really than just colors. You know, it, there's nothing more to the theme than that. There's no real option to change any of the fonts or the sizes of the bars or anything like that. If you, if you look, when I, when I change that and then I click through to the forum, um, it just now shows up as sort of green little bars instead of blue ones. So that's all that the themes do, but not bad for a free little app, I suppose. And then the forum rules, um, I guess I'm just kind of trained, you know, with email management and things to think of rules um, in a bit more of an elegant way now. But this is basically just a place that you can write the rules of your forum. So very much like on IMSF, um, Mike has all of our rules that really make it a really high value group. Um, I suppose you could do something very, very similar here, but it is literally just an area to type copy into. There's nothing more fancy going on here than that. And then it looks like right from the get-go, 
um, these guys have decided that you can do banner ads to make money here and you can um, do a few HTML tags in this area including iframe tags and div tags so that looks um, pretty promising and obviously you can add images so that's about it hope that was helpful everyone and can't wait to see what other people do with this app take care now